How about this? Participate. I just said, say, reinvent yourself, and you didn't fucking say it. Why not? You didn't feel like it? Most people don't. That's why they never fucking change. And some of you right now, you're like, I don't want to change. Of course you don't. Fucking die with regrets then. But shut your mouth and quit bitching and telling everybody you want to make more money. Just shut your fucking mouth. You don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with the money back. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Trust me, you don't want to face that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's up. We're in an era right now where people just don't care about self-development uh, anymore. People don't want to get better in their health. They don't want to better their marriages. Who, so who's married in here? Raise your hand. Whatever you put into something is whatever you get out of it, right? Remember when you first got married? I'm just saying, if, or if you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend in here, when you first met him, you're like, oh, damn, I really like her. So you tried really hard, right? And then after time, you don't try hard anymore. So what happens? Shit falls apart, right? I want you guys to look at your drive this morning because if you want to go to another gear, if you want to go to another level, you got to have a fire in your belly, am I right? I mean, how many of you used to be athletes in school? How many of you, it used to be really important into you to, you know, like be in really good shape and shit? Well, eventually some point changed, something shifted, right? Dude, could you imagine if you could go back to that place and be in that fitness and that deal, but with your life now and what you're doing, what you would be like? That's called being a machine. So every day your goal is to figure out how to make yourself more machine-like. Now, I'm a sales trainer, but really that's just a label. That's a trick to get people in, okay? I actually like to improve people's life all the way around. There's a couple things that I want, and I want you to think about what you want for a minute, but a lot of you in here, you don't think you're asleep, you're fucking asleep, okay? Like, I'm gonna ask you a question. Where do you think you're playing life at? One to 10. Seven. Seven. I think you're a fucking one. And he, and he says, wow, I can't believe you said that. If he fucking played at his 10, you guys would shit your fucking pants. If he's a seven, that means he's only got three more notches to go. So you got three more notches and you're fucking done, or do you have a lot more to grow? So you're a one. It's not a negative. His, his one may be someone else's 10. But when he is, so that's me. I'm a fucking one. When I hit my fucking 10, the whole fucking world's going to know me. I want to tell you guys something, an imagination. You guys got a vision in your mind what you want your life to look like? Yes or no? Some of you don't. Most of you don't. You're like, yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's what I want to talk to you about this morning. You got to know what you want because you don't know what you want. Why the f are you here working? Why are you grinding? Why would I wake up at 5 a.m. and want to hit the gym? Why would I be good to my wife? Why would I want to go give my kids special energy? Why would I want to take care of myself? I mean, that's where it comes to drive your why. There's your why and then your, there's your drive. I'm driven by madness, okay? I'm proving motherfuckers wrong. Everybody said I wasn't going to fucking make it. Fuck you, okay? I'm fucking pissed off. That pisses me off. Also, I want to avoid embarrassment. When I was younger, Sales changed my life. I was broke. Mom left when I was two. Just 30 seconds on me. Mom left when I was two. Great. She's a fucking crackhead. I got five brothers and sisters. Jerry Springer shit show. I'm 44. So if anybody's old enough, there was a, a show called Jerry Springer, right? That was my life. Okay. Some of you have had a Jerry Springer life. Anyways, I, I graduated from school with straight D's. Okay. Barely fucking made it. You know why? Because no one ever explained the value in learning to me. Dude, if I didn't understand why it was good to learn, why the fuck would I want to open a book? I'm just doing shit that I don't want to do. But once they say, dude, if you'll know what that guy knows, you can go do what he did. Once I started learning, I don't envy anybody. I want to emulate everybody who's gone where I want to go. That's how I look at life. If Steve has a jet, I want to know how Steve's got a fucking jet. How did, what did he do? What did he learn? What, what, they said, well, he didn't learn shit. Well, what relationship did he make? How did that deal go down? What did that look like? How did he find the money? I just want to know. I'm curious, right? Some of you aren't curious. You're just counting yourself out. Everybody in here, why not you? Okay, why not you? In three years, I built a nine-figure business when I quit my W-2 job. Now, I want to warn you. I didn't want to start my own business. Some of you are like, well, fuck, I need to start my own job. You're fucking stupid. I wanted to find someone that I could give my best to, but everybody kept fucking betraying me. I hate betrayal. I always give it all I got, but I get betrayed. So my fear in life is betrayal. So at 39 years old, I'm 44, I woke the fuck up. I looked in the mirror, and this is cool. See, some of you, you get mad when you get called out, but my wife walks up to me and she goes like this, like, stand up, are you an athlete? No. <laughs> Were you when you were younger? Like young, yeah. 
Well, f how old are you? 33. Well, f you are young, son. What are you talking about? 33 is young as shit, right? Yeah. You don't have to be 19 to be young. I mean, shit, dude. You know people are going to live to be over 100 now with fucking technology and good food and science and shit, right? Like, you guys think you're going to die at 70? Dude, you're stupid. Some of you are going to live to be fucking 100, 110, 120, and, and you're fucked. Because if you think you're fucking old at 31, you're fucked. Like, you're giving up early. Dude, first of all, whatever you think is happening is happening. Does everybody get that? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like this is the life hack and some of you in here, you won't get it. Okay. Because like you're too fucking, you're too serious. I'm so convinced that I create my own economy. Hold on. Come here. I create my own reality, right? Okay, now you played sports in school, right? Yeah. Okay, now do me a favor. Do you feel self-conscious about your weight, your body, and everything? Yes. Okay, now listen, I'm going to tell you something. I like to be elite. I was making a lot of money. I'm making about $2 million a year. I think I'm fucking killing it as a 39-year-old. As a I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking the best. What I learned is that I wasn't playing near what I could do. And you know, my wife had to call me out. And some of you today, as I'm talking to you, I'm not a dick. What I want is that I want you to get the life that I didn't know existed. And once I learned, I went and got it. And I just want you to wake up today. And I want you to learn what is going to trigger you to get fucking pissed off. Because in your current state, you're not kicking anyone's ass. Some of you in here, there was a point to where you were hungry at one point, And slowly, you've gotten less hungry. You've slowed down. You've gotten comfortable. You don't like it when people call you out. You don't like it when there's accountability on the line, when somebody wants to talk about your numbers. You first want to get defensive as fuck, okay? Because you want to protect who you are. How about be open-minded and be willing to grow? So my wife, she walks up to me, and I'm, and I'm, I'm turned from behind, right? So I want you to turn from behind, because I want you to see how this will trigger him. My wife walks up to me, right? And literally, now I was an athlete in school, but I'm not, I'm not in school no more, right? I'm in, I'm in business. She walks up behind me, I got my shirt off, and she goes, and she grabbed this right here, and she goes, getting a little comfortable <laughs> and I was like what the fuck it was like needles went up my back and I know that that is like my back fat right and we don't like back fat but I got comfortable and by the way my wife goes I'm not saying this to piss you off but health has always been important to you and we've been married 17 years and it was really important to you when we were younger and when I see you sliding I know you're sliding with us I know you're sliding with the kids. When you start sliding in your own health, I know all these other things are sliding. That's not you. Now, I'm going to walk off, and I'm going to love you forever, but I'm going to tell you that's not you. I got fucking pissed. Now, first of all, I get mad at her for a minute, right? Because how can she say shit like that to me? You know what I learned as I'm talking to some of you guys right now? You know nobody wants you to fucking have a better life. You guys know that? Like, like here's the reality. You're like, well, everybody does. No, they fucking don't. How many people right now are, are by your side begging for you to have a better life and they want to go with you on this journey? No, I don't see anybody today that's like, man, dude, I want you to make more money today. Man, I want you to get ripped today. You know what, man, I want you to go home and have a better, wife, better life with your family, the people that you love. I want you to look in the mirror and like you more today. Dude, nobody's doing that to you. If someone does it to you, count it as a blessing. Does that make sense? But since society is so weak right now, they're like, hey, that guy's a dick. Get him out. So go back and hang out with the people that let you lose. The people that let you fucking whine. The people that let you complain. If you're around me, you complain, I'll throw you through that window. Swear to God. Not because I'm better than you. Because I don't want to fucking hear your mouth. Okay? I'm here to solve problems. I'm here to fix shit. Hey, you don't want fucking problems? Get out of the ring. Get out. Go. Get the fuck out of the game. Just go. If you don't want problems, get out of the arena. Problem free is on the sidelines over there. Okay, but here we're going to get hit in the mouth every day. You're always going to have a problem. You know what I know? When you guys find this next level of life that I'm talking about today, see, and some of you, you're, you're, I see a couple of you guys, you're grabbing your phones. You're already fucked up. The reason why you don't get what you want is because you never are where you are. The reason why your home life, life is fucking shit is because when you're at home with your family, all you're thinking about is fucking work 
and something else. And that's why your fucking family don't, don't fucking appreciate you anymore. That's why they've learned to live without you. A lot of your families have just learned to live with fucking out you. You're living life on your phone. You don't give a you're at home. Then when you're at work, you're fucking stupid and you're thinking like, man, I need to spend more time with my family. You're so fucking stupid. Because then when you go home, you're not even fucking there. Rule number one to dissolving your competition, annihilating everybody and a hundred X in your life. I didn't say 10 X. I said 100 X. Just be where you are. If you can have the control in your mind, your body and yourself, that phone, that phone is a tool to make you money. It is it a tool to use for follow up? Is it a tool to gather fall? It reach revenue retention in that phone. But most of you are a tool for that phone. Like you're a fucking tool. You're a fool for your phone. Crazy thing is, I look, so I'm 44. I remember before technology, right? Like we had pagers and shit, right? So those weren't fucking very exciting. But I remember this. Me getting my endorphins fired was a hard workout in the gym. I felt good. Me getting my endorphins firing were like winning at something that was hard. Me getting my endorphins firing were like making a fucking sell. And someone said no. Now, People find their endorphins from their cell phone. It's fucking stupid. The reason why you're broke, the reason why you can't get ripped, the reason why you're not fucking winning in life, the reason why you're not charismatic, on fire, full of charisma, and infectious, you're not a savage, the reason why is because you can't say no. I want to tell you guys all today, I'd recommend by the time we get out of here to say, you know what, that's what I want to fucking do in life. And by the way, what you're doing right now is beautiful. You're just not who you need to be to capitalize on what you're doing. If you guys all become today who you need to become and then you have this job, it's fucking over. Everybody in this room can get rich. Everybody in this room can sell a million times more. And by the way, I wanna tell you something, money don't make you fucking happy. I, most of my friends, as I've leveled up, I stopped having them be my friends. I wanted to be like them because I saw that they were making a lot of money and then when I got around them, they're fucking miserable and they hate their life. I want you guys to get it all today. So what I've learned and how I live is I live by these drive rules. So if I was going to train you, if you were like, dude, I want you to train me. I want you to recreate my life. I want to become a new person. And by the way, let me explain the goal in life is to reinvent yourself every day. You, you should want to reinvent yourself every day. Okay. You want your wife to admire you. Okay. Fucking change every day. I want to be like, I just can't keep up with my husband. Every day, he's fucking going to another level. She'll chase you all the days of your life. Your sex life will be crazy. She'll want to fucking be by your side. She'll be telling everybody about you. She'll fucking look up to you. You know the eyes when you first start dating somebody, and it's like when you first start, they're like, hey, we get to see each other. Could you imagine if your relationship right now, if you started to change, you started to level up, if those eyes came back to the person that you're with? When you walked in the house, it wasn't like, hey, babe. He was like, fuck, babe, yes, daddy's home. That's how my life is. But you know what? At 39, I realized it wasn't that way. And by the way, I've recreated myself so many different times in life, but this last one was different. And that's why I'm trying to tell you the fast way to get to where you want to go is to ask yourself these four questions. Number one, are you bored? If you're fucking bored, you have a drive problem. You have a drive problem. Now I'm going to tell you how to find your drive. I'm gonna tell you exactly where it is. Number two, are your results declining? I wanna ask you a question. In business right now, right, do you see your individual production numbers going down? If they're staying the same, they'll go down soon. They're either going up or they're going down. Nothing stays the same. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you have, if you have the courage in here to really look in the mirror, are your results going down? If they're going down, you have a drive problem, which is very easy to fix. Have you hit a plateau? I want to tell you this. I said in your personal life or in business, because I'm going to tell you something. If you don't like who the fuck you are, if some of you don't like how your home life's going, you're not going to kill it at work. You can't. You have to have both. The secret to winning. Do you guys want to be great leaders? I mean, every one of you today, I'm talking to you as fucking leader. Some of you, I'll say, who's the leader? And then the people that are the managers are like, I'm the leader. No, you're fucking not. You're a manager. Where's the leaders? 
The leaders are the people that carry themselves daily to be an example for someone else. Does that make sense? Hey, I don't have a fucking title. I don't need a title. I'm the manager. I'm the, fuck that. Who's the leader? The leader sets the tone, sets the standard, sets the pace, sets the example for other fucking people. You know what I wish some of you would do today? Is decide to, to raise your hand and be a fucking leader. You know what a leader is? A leader is somebody that doesn't need a title. You don't need one. By the way, matter of fact, I was an alpha fucking rep salesperson when I sold, and most alpha salespeople are fucking dicks to the other employees because they're the fucking best. No. A true alpha continues to break the bar, press the bar, break records while building their team. Listen to me. If you're a real savage, you will teach every motherfucker around you everything you know. Why? Because you're so passionate and ate up with people, relationships, and winning, you want to see other people win. See, I do what's called a heart check. Like, I'll fucking check someone's heart real quick. When I see you guys, I'm like, hey, Steve, let's spend some time. Dude, I just, I like Steve a lot. He's an amazing guy. He's got a team. You guys probably thought Andy's going to come in here and teach us to close. I'll talk to you about closing. But what the fuck does that matter if you're not closed on your best fucking life for you? You know when I get on the phone with you? You know how much I love me? You know how much I fucking hated me about four years ago? Dude, if, if I would have been a skilled son of a bitch, but I didn't like me at 39, I wouldn't have closed you. I'm so fucking sold on who I am. I'm so fucking sold on what's happening. I'm so sold that I like you and I care about you more than you even care about yourself. I'm going to fucking close your ass. It's not a fucking option not to close you. This is the closer state. The closer state presses this into the client state. When the client gets on the phone with somebody they never knew that even fucking lived or imagined or understood them, they'll do whatever you want. Does that make sense? Everybody's the same in this world now. I'm walking by people. It's like motory skills. Everybody's fucking comfortable. Everybody's fucking average. Everybody's low. Guys, are we in a world right now where people are just raising their fucking standards everywhere? No. If you want to get what no one else has, you have to be different than everybody fucking else. And by the way, what I'm telling you to do today is fucking be different. And some of you right now, you're like, I don't want to change. Of course you don't. Fucking die with your regrets then. But shut your mouth and quit bitching and telling everybody you want to make more money. Just shut your fucking mouth. Okay? Like, quit complaining, dude. You fucking settled. You like it. So shut up and stay comfortable. But for those of you that want to kill it, there's a lot of people right now that could have better lives if you would wake the fuck up. Not only for your own benefit and gain would you want to change, but how about doing it for some other motherfuckers that are counting on you? Dude, how about doing it for somebody that you're going to run across tomorrow that you don't know, but when they meet you, they're like, fuck, bro. Like, it's like some fucking spirit or some shit's running around you, man. I like that shit. How do I be close to you? It's like, dude, like, that's the good life. Like, why were you here? To consume? Did God make you to, hey, just go here and fucking consume? I want to be a contributor. When I run into people, I want to leave them better than when they met me. When I find people, I want when I leave for them to say, man, I need a buddy like that. You know what? I'm going to be just like that. I don't want them to be me. I want to go, them to go be you. People say that our company is a cult. For real. And I want to explain this to you. I started my business in 2020, November of 2019. Zero advertising. I've never been on social media. I grab a phone. My wife's like, say, hey, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. I'm like, what's, hey, I'm like, fuck, this is stupid. And my wife goes, Andy, you're not trying to be an influencer. You're not trying to fucking go out there and be cool. There's someone on the other side of that camera, you know shit that could change their life. I'm watching you do shit in your life that's changing your life fast. Just tell them what you're doing. Just tell them what you're doing. And you can't see their face, but you got to pre pretend that you can see their face. So I was like, fuck. Okay, all right, cool. So I'm like, guys, what's up? It's Andy. I'm like, listen, every fucking day, everybody's going to want you to be just like them and be the same. you got to decide to go left when they're going right. The hard road, the least traveled road, that's the road you need to be on. The hard shit pays, so we got to do hard shit. we got to stay uncomfortable. Dude, when COVID hit, we fucking went crazy, man. We went nuts. We shot content like nuts. I wasn't even any good. But let's fast forward and, and look at what two years looks like. Dude, our social media now, when I didn't even know how to pick up a camera, I've never spent a dollar on advertising. You know the power of being 
and real is so stupid. All these people spending money on marketing, I didn't spend a dollar. I just became real. And that's my deal with you guys. Like I'm real, I'm really talking to you guys like you're my team today. You guys are my fucking family, you're my team. I am you. Every one of you that I'm talking to today, I am you, you are me. Unless you're like, I don't want a better life, I don't want to make more money, I don't want to be fucking happier, then maybe we're not the same, okay? Like I didn't, like if you're depressed, like you don't want to stay depressed, you don't want to be like, oh, just fucking my life sucks. No, I want to be like, dude, somebody help me, give me a fucking way out. Okay, here's the way out. You become the most realist motherfucker in the world, you literally change your health. The biggest paradigm shift I could tell you, it's not, it, dude, it's not mindset, it's health first. Physical, mental, business. When you physically change your body, mentally, you're on a different fucking page. And when you look in the mirror, you start to see someone different. When my wife grabbed my love handle, dude, I literally went in the bathroom. I shaved my fucking head. I had hair at that time. But I looked horrible. But I never shaved my head. I fucking shaved it. I went in the gym, worked out for four hours. And after four hours, the way I felt because I was investing in myself. I kept giving everything to my job, everything to everybody. You know what some of you guys need to do in here? You need to put you first again. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like, like, like you're fucking putting everyone else above. You're putting your job above you because you want to make more money. You want to do this, you want to do that. Put you first. Dude, my wife, here's what's crazy. I'm going to go to my wife. When I started to change, my wife started to look at me different. I'm like, dude, okay, okay, this is the fucking game. I see that shit and I like that and that feeds me. But I noticed my wife started to change too. My kids, we got three beautiful kids. They started to treat her like she was a fucking slave. She's an amazing woman. As a matter of fact, because she was trying to serve all of us and do nothing for her, I'm fucking walking in the house and I'm like not even paying attention to her. You know what I'm saying? Dude, when I met my wife, she fucking took care of herself like a motherfucker. Dude, she was fixing her hair, she looked great, she was doing, now she's fucking serving all of us and I ran her in the ground. Does that make sense? So of course, dude, I'm in the house, I'm like, dude, she's just, you know, she's fucking tired. My wife made a decision, like I'll tell you to make today. She goes, fuck this, I'm gonna put me first. I'm going to put me before my kids. I'm going to put me before my husband. I'm going to go back to put, and dude, what's crazy? She started running. She started working out. She started taking care of herself again. Dude, it's like she became a fucking live. Now I'm walking in the house. I'm like, Fuck, what's going on, babe? Like, I'm like chasing her now and shit. The kids, they come in. They're looking at my wife like, like mom's like fucking superwoman now. Dude, it's so crazy what happens when you start taking care of yourself again. Some of you in here, you think you're burned out and you're not telling anybody, but you're always tired. You wake up. You don't feel like fucking doing shit. You feel like you have to do it. You're not burned out. People don't burn out. They lose their purpose. When I look at these things, have you hit a plateau? Do you feel like your, your, your talent is declining? Some of you in here, you were better the first year you got in this company than what you are now. It's a drive issue. And by the way, the cool thing about everything that I'm telling you is that you guys control all of this. Like, like I can be a dick. Your, your boss could be, dude, this is your decision. These are your things. These are things that you can control. And the cool thing is, the more you control your own life, the more you take care of you, the more you put you first. Hey, I'm not asking you to not be loving to other people, but how the fuck can you love other people more if you don't love yourself? You know people that come in the office that are really miserable? They fucking hate themselves. Am I right? Like, name one person that's fucking super happy that comes in their dick to everybody. They're, they don't exist. So the key in it in life, and I'm telling you my way I think, is that I need to put me first, okay? So I go to the gym, I wanna, I wanna look in the mirror and like who I am, also I wanna be really good at skill. So here, here's my drive, competition. I love fucking competition. If somebody says they're gonna beat me, I wanna fucking smoke their ass. By the way, I wanna be the best. I have the desire to be the best. You guys should too. Every one of you in this room, if you're dead last in this room, who gives a shit? Everybody fucking sucks until they don't. Does that make sense? See, because what I'll tell you is whoever's number one in here won't stay number one for very long if I'm training you. The reason why is that I'm a fucking underdog. I suck. I stuttered at 18, I stuttered. My manager's like, you, well, you're, well, I had two managers. One goes, dude, you're not gonna make it. You gotta stutter, dude. Nobody's gonna fucking wanna take you seriously or listen to you. My other manager goes, dude, you just gotta write down the word tracks, memorize them so you know what to say, so you can slow down your brain, so you know what you're gonna say before you say it, so you stop stuttering. 
So literally, like if somebody's like, hey, I'm gonna get back to you tomorrow. Like tell me you're gonna get back with me tomorrow. I'll be back with you tomorrow. Yeah, totally tomorrow. understand. But anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow. Wouldn't you agree? Well, we should do that. Yeah, yeah cool. Let's go and wrap this up. Yep. And then I'll just fucking close his ass on the spot. And he's like, well, how did, how did I just agree with you that I should do it today? And how did I shake your hand? Well, word track. I have thousands of word tracks. But, dude, the best investment, some of you are in here like, I want to make money to invest it. You fucking invest every dollar you have into yourself right now. Not in a house, not in fucking stocks, not in yourself, in you. See, if I'm sitting at the, at the kitchen table with my wife, my kids, my family, they fucking have security in who I am as a man. If we lose it all, I'm getting it back tomorrow. I fucking know shit right here. I don't, I don't find my security in other shit. Does that make sense? Some of you in here right now, you're like, I got to keep my job. I got to keep this. Hey, how about you become the baddest motherfucker in the world? Bring value to everything. You'll quit worrying about that shit. You'll start to walk around differently, believe differently, act differently. And then the people that employ you will be like, dude, that's my guy. Like, like I wish everybody was like him. And what's the secret you carry? You train, you practice, you self-develop. The greatest advice I could ever give you to anyone in this room is out self-develop everyone. Everyone. Two years, the last two, three years, all I've done every day is study everybody in this world that can do something better than me and I figure out how to memorize what they're doing. I figure out how to do what you're doing and then I can do it as good as you and then I do it and better you and I do it my way. And you know what I've learned my secret? I'm gonna show you guys here like in sales, but there's two main things to sales. Two main things that'll separate you from everybody in this fucking world. And the first one you can't do unless you really like you. You can't do it, which is why, why I'm talking to you about the foundation of killing it in sales is you got to really like you. That's why if you're like sitting here and you're selling, dude, I'm fucking standing up, I'm fired up, I'm ready to fucking roll. Dude, listen to me, I can't wait to get on the phone. You know what happens when you pick up the fucking phone with me? I'm shutting your fucking ass down and you know I am right when I talk to you. Anything and everything you want, done. Yeah, whatever you want to do, done. We're going to make that happen. Yeah, the reason why you connected, the reason why you filled out the form, the re reason why you're, you're requesting information is because you wanted something done, dude. I got you, done. Done. By the way, Andy Elliott, got your back for life. Done. I got you. I'm going to explain how this works. This is easy. Abracadabra, let's roll. You're in good hands. Welcome to your new family. Does that make sense? That's how I would sell. This is my customers are my family. Are your customers your family or are they just clients? Do you think they want to be important? Do you think they want to be significant? Do you think your people want to be treated really good? Do you think this world's full of people treating people really good, yes or no? No, no. Some of you are like, yeah, no they're not. Dude, we're in a world full of amateurs right now. I'll pull you guys up right now and I can role play with you on the spot, right? And I can tell these two things that I'm gonna tell you guys. You wanna know how to dust everybody? Rule number one, whoever cares the most about the client, whether the client cares more about themselves than you care about them, or you care about the client more than they care about themselves. So if you're my client, I care more about you than you care about yourself. That has to be clear on the call. If you reach out to me, once you commit, I won't let you fail. That's the way things work around here. Do people reach out to you guys daily to set appointments to save money in their taxes, yes or no? Okay, when somebody reaches out to you, do they have questions? Do they have concerns? Do they want to know how this works? Can I ask you a question? Does it work what we do? Yes or no? Yes. Should everybody have it? Yes. Do you, do you feel, that? do you sound that way? Are you giving information when you're on the phone? Are you fucking obsessed with what we do? Do, you, do they feel like when they're talking to you that they can sense the change that you've had in millions of other people's lives? Do they feel that way about you? Or are you just giving them information? Yeah, what's going on? It's Donnie down here. So look, I'm gonna go over this, how this works. So, and I'm getting real fucking technical. Okay, listen to me. People won't always remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. Does that make sense? Okay, so what kind of vibes are you gonna need to put off on the phone if you wanna shut every motherfucker down? Vibes that, listen, number one, I wanna start off by telling you, I already know that we're gonna do business together. Every single person that requests information on our firm and our company does business with us because not only are we the best, but everybody wants to save money and that's what we do. We're very, very good at what we do. We only deal with people who are serious and it sounds to me like you're serious about saving some big money. Is that correct, yes or no? 
and you're serious about doing business with a professional. Is that correct? Well, good. Now that we've established we're family already and we both have the same beliefs, let me explain how this works. Anybody in this room sell that f***ing way? Because that's the way you sell. Don't tell. Sell. How do you sell? Influence. Persuade. Paint pictures. Tell stories. You know what I'd love for you guys to do? I have lots of clients that are just like you that reach out to me that have problems just like yours. And literally within minutes, we solve all of those problems. So the fact that you're telling me what you're telling me today, no big deal. Do me a favor, Mr. And Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, repeat after me, say no big deal. No big deal, cool, I got you, this is easy, this is simple, this is what we do for a living. A lot of people like to overcomplicate this, I don't like complicated things, do you? This really isn't complicated, it's very system, we're the pros, this is what we do for a living, you're in good hands, relax, let's get this handled. Am I telling you how this works, or am I making you feel secure and comfortable dealing with me? You guys get it? Now watch this. If I'm gonna ride on this board, how do I feel about myself? How do I feel? Do I fucking love me? Do I think that I'm the best? Do I believe, if I was to go over the road to the sale, do you guys have a road to sell in this business? Like if somebody was to say, this is the road to the sale when a lead comes in. Do you guys have one? Cool, what is it, what's step one? Wrong. Hold on. I like that. Road to the cell. I'm going to give you guys something to think about. Before you even pick up that fucking phone, you need to have a delusional belief. Everybody can buy, came to buy, and will buy as long as you do your fucking job. So the question is, are they going to buy? That's not a question. Of course they're going to fucking say yes. Of course we're going to run their card. Of course we're going to do business together. That's already been made up. Who made it up? Me. That's up to me. Some of you guys in here are hoping. You can fucking shit on hope. Hope is good, but hope ain't gonna get you 100% closing ratio. Does that make sense? And some of you in here, you're like, did he say 100%? Yeah, I know you're fucking weak. I know you don't think you can close 10 for 10. That's why your numbers fucking suck. You're always thinking that only some of them are gonna buy instead of everyone buying. Dude, how stupid are you? Why did they fucking request information on what we have? Because they want help. But you don't think you can fucking help everybody? Yes or no? You know what I think? These two things, if you can get them right, you guys triple your sales today. Number one, out fucking care people more than they care about themselves. That's a rule. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If you don't like you, how the fuck can you like someone else? Okay, so let's get our shit right. And by the way, you say, well, that takes time. Bullshit. It's a simple decision. From now on, I'm going to eat clean. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to be good to myself. I'm going to master my fucking mouth. I'm not going to walk around and say anything negative. There's a rule in our company. If you say, oh, I can't, or that's hard, 50 push-ups. If you yawn, 50 push-ups. I'm not playing. I don't play. Dude, shut. Don't even fucking bring negative shit around me, okay? You want a badass life? Yes or no? You guys want a badass life? Yes. Then we got to have fucking hardcore rules. No weakness. See, I'm going to explain how people's minds work. Everybody has 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts going through their mind a day. Now, the thoughts y'all fucking had yesterday, right? You think those same thoughts are going to come today? Yes. You know why? Because if nothing fucking changes, nothing fucking changes, right? Some of you in here, you want to know why your life's not getting any better? You want to know why your mindset's not changing? You want to know your, why your belief's not changing? You want to know why your sales aren't going up? Because you have the same fucking record playing in your fucking head every day about how today's going to go. It's truly Groundhog Day in your fucking life because your head is Groundhog Day. So I come in the room and I'm fucking telling you I'm going to interrupt all these 60 to 70,000 fucking thoughts and I'm resetting this bitch. And if you believe me, then you just reset your life. And when you guys leave, you leave differently. If you don't believe me, stay the fucking same, but stop bitching. You've chose this life. This was up to you. I can't choose the way you think. I can choose the way I think. And you may say, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, that's your fucking problem. You should know. How about you start changing the way you speak and be like, I do fucking know. Dude, everybody that requests information, common sense says they want something. I've got a solution. I'm here to solve it. Our company solves shit. Again, second thing, belief. Belief. Do you fucking believe 
that your company, yours, not the product you sell at different companies, your company, this company fixes fucking people's problems, gives them the blueprint to get what they want. Yes or no? Yes. Whoever fucking believes the most in the room wins. That's the game. They, they send me out to go fucking train this mortgage company, right? And as soon as I walk in the room, this guy's like, hey, Andy, uh, so my sales team's in there. It's like you guys being in here, right? You're fucking all calling and shit. They, they sell mortgage leads. And they're like, I, I, want, I want you to look at the script, what they're saying. I'm like, fuck the script. Where's the team? Everybody's always like, it's got to be the script. I ain't hit you with anything fucking scripted so far. I don't even know what you guys could do and I could pick up the phone and sell somebody just off telling the story what our fucking company does for people and they would buy it not even knowing how it works. Okay, I promise you, once you get that through your head, you'll understand. But I walk into a room and I said, all right, this is the sales team, fuck the script. Hey, what's up, what's your name? Guy goes, my name's Dan. Dan, how good are the leads? He's like, well, you know, shut the fuck up, that's the problem. Dan should be, this is what Dan should be like. How good are the leads? The leads are so fucking good on getting my real estate license right now because I'm going to be buying these fucking leads and I'm going to be selling this shit. This is how, they, how good they are. I've got my mom getting in the business so she can buy the leads. My dad's getting in so they can buy the leads. I've got my neighbors getting in so they can buy the leads. I fucking post about the leads every day on social media. What do you mean? How good are the fucking leads? The leads are the best leads in the world. That's what I want to fucking hear. Some of you, I could walk in. I'm just telling you why you need to check yourself. You're fucking up your own life. There's always something that could be better, but is it really fucking better? You guys need to understand this. Your fucking company, every one of you can look at this two different ways. Our company's got problems. Shut your fucking mouth. The fact that you're walking around saying your company has problems, you're the fucking problem. Get the fuck out. You know what I want? I want, dude, our company's growing so fast. Our company's on fire. You know what I want to be? I want to be a solution finder for our company that I care about a lot, that literally I'll be a part of the big picture as long as I step up and I play the growing game with my company. That's what I want to do. You guys need to understand this. When you pick up the phone with somebody, this belief in how your company does their job is the single most important thing you'll ever do in your life. Fuck the script. How much do you believe? I want you fucking brainwashed. And I'm not playing. The news brainwashes people to be scared and afraid. Would you guys agree? I want you to be brainwashed. You work for the best company in the world. It's a decision you have to make. Yeah, I want you to brainwash yourself that your marriage is the greatest marriage in the world, even if it's not. Because if you fucking don't, you will have the worst marriage in the world. If you're not a good parent right now, and you know you need to be closer to your kids, you make the fucking decision right now to say that you're the best fucking parent in the world and you show up differently today. Or you don't and you fucking put your head down and say, oh, I'm just not a good dad. I'm not a good mom. I'm, and now your fucking life is shit. You get it? Who can control all of this? That's what I love about these conversations I'm having with you guys. Have you ever had somebody come talk to you in a meeting and it's like everything they say, you leave and you're like, well, how do I do that? Right? Okay. Your job is to put up a fucking wall around your fucking mind and don't let any fucking shitty ass thoughts come into it no matter what. Now listen to me, I need you to understand this. There's internal thoughts, there's external thoughts. If I'm around you and you're negative, you're fucking gone. Now I'm not saying that I'm like, hey, I can't hang around with you no more. And I will tell you, hey, everybody say set the tone. Set the tone. If you have a life right now that you don't fucking life, like, you set a new fucking tone this minute, and when you walk out, like my, like I'm just giving an example. Let's say my dad, if he's negative, right? I'm just giving an example. But, you know, he's my dad, right? So I got to, no, fuck that. I give a fuck, is he your dad? You set a new tone. Hey, you love your dad? Cool. It's got to be a two-way street, right? Hey, dad, I don't fucking like it when you talk negative to me. So listen to me. Either you need to speak better because I fucking don't like it, okay? Or we're going to be distant. Like you, like you choose. But I don't like it. Whoa, man, I was just fucking around. Well, cool. Well, there's two of us, and only one of us are fucking laughing, because I'm not. So, like, there's a new fucking tone. Like, I love you, but, like, don't be a fucking negative asshole. Okay, sorry. Don't be sorry. Just change. Dude, if you want us to be close, I need you to understand, I don't want to be around anybody that's going to say anything negative to me. 
It's just how I want to live. Now, if you love me and you want to be around me, I won't say anything negative to you. I only want to bring value to you, but I also only want to be around people that bring value to me. Okay? But I'm your dad. Doesn't matter. I don't have to fucking listen to you be negative. I don't have to. So, I'm going to set my fucking tone. Does that make sense? If you want to create new behaviors, you got to make change. You guys are ultimately in charge of all the change in your life. Now, that's external, right? External, like negativity. That's how you fix that shit, in case anybody wanted to know. But the second thing is, is internal speaking. What I've learned is that most of you in here, you're not being influenced by someone on the outside who's fucking your life up. It's you self-sabotaging your fucking life. And I'm gonna explain how this works. Who do you wanna become? Everybody say, reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself. Okay, who do you wanna become? Who do you wanna become? I wanna become the best salesman I can be and the least. Okay, how are you gonna do that? Go to the gym, get a good routine. How about this, participate. I just said, say, reinvent yourself, and you didn't fucking say it. Why not? You didn't feel like it? Most people don't. So they don't ever fucking change. I don't feel like going to the fucking gym. Well, dude, if you go to the gym, but you don't feel like fucking participating with your company, you're not going to grow. And you may say, man, that's harsh. No, it's not. I'm telling you the truth. Remember, guys, can we all in here be direct with each other? Yes or no? Do you guys think a good company will grow because they're direct? They're, they're, they don't, do you guys want to, look, if we had to live life one of two ways, which one would you choose? Number one, we're not direct to each other. We walk around on fucking eggshells around each other all day long because we're afraid we're going to fucking hurt Bobby's feelings. You know what I'm saying? But hey, right, we're not going to grow. But, but, but Bobby's not going to be mad. Or would you rather just fucking be direct and say, hey, man, you know, I need you to master your mouth, dude. Hey, listen, hey, and by the way, well, well I know, but that one time you did that, hey, I did a lot of stuff worse, worse than that. But I'm deciding now to change. And since we're a family, since we're a team, I'm asking you to come with me. You know the cool thing that I want to know, that I want to tell you about all of you? You're all fucking fucked up. Every one of you in here are fucked up. Anybody that doesn't agree, you're stupid. You got more fucking problems than you know what to do with. You know what? We can eliminate 90% eliminate of them right now of all of us coming together and deciding that, you know what? We're going to level the fuck up. We're going to choose in our company to focus on growth and in all the areas, not just money. Because listen to me, if you guys are better at each other, if you guys cheer each other on, if you guys fucking push each other, and I mean push each other, will you make more money? Yeah. Yes. Also, when you guys go home, don't you guys go home after a long day? Do you guys want to go home and give special energy to your family and the people that you're with and the people you care about? Yes or no? Yes. The better you are at work to each other, the more fired up you are when you're here together. Won't you go home and fucking be fired up there? Dude, you guys have to change. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Most companies don't have the courage to do it because they're fucking cowards. If you guys in here, if everybody can kill their ego, kill their pride, and kill their entitlement, Dude, I don't care if you're the top salesman. It means nothing to me. I, and this will piss you off, but I can train a, a guy who's been here 30 days to go fucking dust your eyes. You know how? I'm going to give him my eyes. I'm going to explain to him or her that all they have to do is self-develop and train every day. And eventually, in due time, you'll be able to do in the company what no one else can because of the way you develop yourself. Also, you're going to have a great attitude. Remember I said, what's the road to the sale? First person says, uh, which I get it. Build rapport. No, it's not. It's delusional fucking belief. This motherfucker's going to buy before I even say hello. I've already made that decision. Do you guys need to make that decision before the phone call even comes? Most of you aren't making that decision. You're calling, and then you're like, oh, let me fill this guy out and see if this is going to go somewhere. Fuck, man. How about I already know where this is going to go? Don't you guys already know where it's going to go? Are you guys the best? Is your company the best? then you already know where it's going to go. Is there anything else to talk about? There's nothing else to, do you guys get it once your mind's made up like this? This is called super fucking human shit. That's how we scaled our company to nine figures. I took a bunch of underdogs. By the way, I don't hire people who have worked for other training companies. I build my own. I don't, 
listen to me. I don't want someone that's been doing something for someone else. Hey, oh, I work for 19 tax companies. If we're get the fuck out of here, we don't want you. You know everything that's wrong. Bye. I want someone who's willing to listen to me. It's very simple how we do taxes. Very simple how we save people money. The problem that people are having an issue with is they don't believe that this company is right for them or they don't believe that this pro they all kind of work the same, but we're not all the same. We're different because we believe differently. And people won't remember what you said, but they'll remember the way you made them feel. So I need when you pick up the phone to make them feel like they just won the fucking lottery getting you on the phone. You know what I'm saying? When you're interviewing tax people, right? You're not like, they're not like, you're, you're like, which one geeks out on the numbers the most? Which one knows their job the best? No, it's which one makes you feel the most safe and secure doing business with you. Does that make sense? The reason why people choose us is because number one, we out care everybody. The results are through the roof. That's easy. But we out care everybody. Our, our clients aren't clients. They're our family. Dude, listen, we know what you want. We're really good at getting that, but, but also we want you to know we want you to have a relationship with us. Whoever you choose to do business with, is it somebody that you want to be able to pick up the phone with, have a relationship with, and know that you can work through anything with? Yes or no? Yes. Good. That's us. That's us. Welcome to doing business with us. By the way, we haven't signed anything on the paperwork yet, but you already know how we operate. This is the way that we'll operate forever. Does that make sense? Okay, this is belief. Now, when you pick up the phone, do you got to know what you're going to say? Do your words matter? Why should you train? This is why I can make people great. Why should you train? What time is it? Ooh, that's fucking good. Hey, but I wanted to tell you guys something. The words that you say, they do matter, but they don't matter as much. You guys feel me? Do you guys know how to do your job? Yes. Every one of you know how, how to talk to someone, right? When we leave this room, this is what I want you to do. Do you believe that we have the best company in the world? For real. Don't just fucking, don't be a crowd pleaser. Don't be an ass kisser. I'm asking you for real. Do you believe we have the best company in the world? Do you believe you have the best children in the world? Do you believe you have the best girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, or wife? Do you believe that you're fucking worth it? Why not me? If you right now can make the decision to fucking start putting yourself first, take care of yourself on a whole nother level. By the way, listen to me. You're gonna to go to the gym sometimes, you're gonna see results. Still keep fucking going. Okay, it's the compound effect of continually doing good shit. Audit everyone in your life that's negative. Audit everyone in your life that doesn't believe in you. Even if you have to go back to zero, you got your company. And if there's someone here that in this company is fucking shitty to you, tell them, stop being fucking shitty to me, dude. Hey, I probably did some shit before that pissed you off, but then I decided to fucking change. So like, I'm a different person. So like, can we restart? Is that cool? Yeah. Look how fucking fast that's like under the bridge. Some of you need to understand people that think that when you damage something, and we're done, but when you damage something, it's unfixable. Everything's fucking fixable. Unless this motherfucker's got bad intentions, then I'm out. Remember this. Why do people hate salespeople? Because most of them have bad intentions. I love salespeople that have good intentions and want to help people. Does that make sense? So believe like a motherfucker. Remember, out care people more than they care about themselves. Delusional belief, when you pick up the phone, this motherfucker's already done. And then number two, last thing, have the best fucking attitude anyone's ever seen. In a world right now where people don't have the best relationships at home, where people got a lot of negative shit in life, be the infectious person that when they talk to, they're like, man, I need this motherfucker as my friend. Like, we're doing business, but like, dude, like, like where do you live? Like, now they want to know more. You know why? because you're the most interesting person in the room and you sound like you really give a fuck about them and when people feel like someone really cares about them, they'll lean in and do whatever you want. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you guys wanna be around people that care about you, right? And you wanna get away from people that don't care about you, right? So if we're in a world right now full of amateurs where people don't care, let's just, be, let's just go pro. You guys get it? Yeah. Cool. What I told you today, could this paradigm shift and change your whole life, yes or no? Yes. Cool. Can you guys take action on it? I want you to remember one more thing and we're going to cut this. Imagination, which means, all right, I envision what my life looks like now. Without execution, nobody will know your fucking name. If you can imagine and, and be a visionary now of what I've talked about, and you're like, I know what I fucking want. If you'll execute, the minute we leave, you will fuck everyone up and you'll have a life no one ever imagined. You guys get it? So we got to execute. Steve, it's all you, buddy. Guys, let's give it up.
Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate that. Let's go make some money. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.